I see the question a lot, Scott, that people just on, on the forum, is it worth it? Is calibration worth it? Mm, good and, question. And, and my opinion is you have to get your gray balance right. The image will really pop once you get your gray balance white. People always complain, why does my image look washed out? Why does it look like there's a haze over my image? Most often it's the gray balance. And once that gray balance is right, Black becomes black, even if it's a, you know, a 30% black, it's black. It's what makes the detail in an image. And without a proper gray balance, um, you, you really, you really don't have anywhere to go. And uh, Tyler, I, I think you probably agree with that, right? Yeah, I like to say the getting the grayscale is like 75% or more of the, of the calibration, just getting a neutral gray. Um, because it, if, if it's tinted towards blue, then every color is going to be shifted towards blue as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it's kind of like um, if you had a, a canvas and it was tinted blue and you painted on top of it, everything, mm -hmm. all any color you added on top would be slightly shifted towards blue. So once you have a neutral gray, um, even if you don't touch the colors, even if you don't have a color management system, just getting the white point and the, and the grayscale correct will actually improve uh, the colors in the middle of the gamut. Yeah, I've heard and, and it said. The, I've heard, and the apparent I've heard, contrast. Exactly. I've heard it said that, that yeah, gray scale is a, analogous to a canvas. And if you're, you want the canvas to be as neutral and, and correct as possible, then all the colors you put onto it will be accurate. Now, for the last little bit here, I've got, uh, we've got a couple of images, uh, Tom, that you took with a camera, I guess, pointing at your new P series. One of them is before the gray balance, uh, grayscale balance, and the other one is after. So let's take a look at those. Here's, uh, we're going to maybe go, go back and forth between them. Uh, but here's the first one. Uh, tell us what we're, what we're seeing here between these two. Well, I mean, obviously you can see the, the blue cast. And I'll, I'll, to Tyler's point about getting the white, white, take a look at the water puddling in the path where they're standing, you know, beyond and in front. Mm -hmm. And now toggle back to the post-cal. Look at how the, 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 the uh, neutral balance has made that look so much more detailed and contrasty. And then the, the, the shakes on the building, how much more neutral they are. It just mm -hmm. makes the image look that much more real. And it looks more contrasty. I agree. One of the things I noticed between these two is in the the couple there on the left who are embracing, uh, in the pre-cal, if you can go to pre-cal and zoom in on that couple, uh, you'll be able to see that there isn't very much detail in the guy's outfit in particular. And then if we go to post-cal, you can see a lot more detail in the clothing. That was something that my eye was drawn to immediately, other than the fact that the pre-cal had a blue cast to it and the, the post-cal is, is much more neutral looking. So, Yeah, and, you know, it's a picture of a picture, so I don't want to get too technical with yeah. what's, in, what's, what's in the photograph. But I did lock the color balance and I did or the, the color temperature and the exposure. So when I bounced, you know, when I, when I essentially unloaded the picture controls to take the pre or the, the, the CMS uh, uh, changes, um, it was the same frame. Right. 